Hi, everyone. This is Bill Soroka, founder of NotaryCoach.com and author of the Amazon best-selling book, Sign and Thrive, How to Make Six Figures as a Mobile Notary and Loan Signing Agent. I just wanted to let you know that my latest blog just came out today. I'm in uh, actually Boise, Idaho, on the way back to Phoenix. Uh, but I got inspired to write this article about the fact that everybody needs a coach in one way or another, no matter what part of your life you're working to build on. In this article, I talk about my resistance to coaching. You know, when I was first going through uh, multiple business ventures, um, I really resisted coaches for a couple of reasons. Number one, I let my ego get in the way. I really thought uh, I was smart enough and I should be able to learn everything from a seminar or from a book and be able to apply that to my life. But when you think about it, we all really, in some way, we know what we should be doing, but we just don't do it. So a coach can really help out with that. Another huge factor uh, from that is that because I was a fledgling entrepreneur and I did not have the daily practices to support uh, growing and becoming into a, a successful business person, um, I was broke. I was financially broke, so I couldn't afford, I thought I couldn't afford coaching. So I always put it on the back burner. I always found a way to diminish the power of coaching because it just, I couldn't see how I could afford it. And then of course the huge one is I was harboring the shame that comes along with 26 business failures and trying to hide that and cover that. Not only, uh, from other people, but from myself, you know, trying to convince myself that something at some point had to, had to give and I could do this. But, um, without facing it, you can't deal with it. So, and a coach can actually help out with that. So here's what I wrote, wrote about too, in the blog article is just what you should be looking for in a good coach. And guys, if you're watching this and you actually coach other people right now as a mentor or as a, a full on coach, life coach, business coach, transitions coach, confidence coach, whatever type of coach, because there's a coach for literally just about everything out there. I hope that you have a coach as well. You, if you believe in the power of coaching enough, you have got to have at least one coach. And in this article, I tell you how many coaches I have at any given moment. I've got a bunch of coaches right now, specialty coaches that are helping me through particular projects or something I'm working on individually with myself, plus life and business coaches to help with the everyday stuff. Coaches are powerful, but here's what you want to look for in a good coach. First, make sure they have the results that you want. You want to be able to take advice and from somebody who's been through what you've been through and can get you through it. You want somebody who has shared values. There are a million different ways to get results and you want somebody that uh, is going to have the same integrity levels as you, uh, that has the same or understands your own values as well. Also, check the references guys. If all you're doing is checking their website, then all you're seeing is the best of what they have to offer. They are controlling that narrative. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Nothing wrong with that at all. That's how we do business. But you also want to make sure they have reviews, uh, references, other clients you might be able to talk to, to get some feedback. The relationship that you have that you're, with your coach is, might be long-term. It might be something uh, that d needs to start off on a really good foundation. Also, you don't want a coach that's just out to sell stuff and only sell stuff. Make sure the coach provides plenty of value for free so you can get to know, like, and trust them ahead of time. They should have a YouTube channel. They should have a blog. They should have a Facebook feed. They should be constantly being a prolific content creator, making your life easier without or better without ever paying them a dime. That's a sign of a really good coach. And then finally, you want somebody who is going to challenge your thinking. You don't want somebody who's just going to be a, a yes man for you and tell you, yes, yes, you're great. And never challenge your thinking. Never force you outside your comfort zone because there is that, you know, that cliche that the magic happens outside your comfort zone for a reason. That is exactly how life works. 
if you want different results, you have to start doing things differently. And a good coach is going to help you do that. You can read the full blog today just at the link below, or you can go to notarycoach.com forward slash blog. So that's www.notarycoach.com forward slash blog. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the read, and I'll catch you later.